Here I have a jar full of egg and larvae of this stag beetle, a Prosopocalus giraffa borobudur stag beetle, and I'm gonna show you how to organize your larva hatchlings. First, you are going to loosen the substrate by pouring it into a tray, then search truly for larvae and eggs. Alright, for every larva and egg that I found, I'm going to put them in the sorting box with the help of a small spoon. Before putting in the larvae, put some substrate in each section. Now let's put in the larvae. So, using a small spoon, you are going to gently search through the substrate for the larva and egg. Once you found the larvae, just shove it up slowly. Then place it in the sorting box. So here I found 21 larvae and 2 eggs, so a total of 23 hatchlings. From all the larvae and eggs, I took 5 different samples to show you the appearance of larva and egg that you may find in the substrate. As you can see, there's a big difference in size between the smallest hatchling and the biggest one. These 5 samples I take resembles the early larval stage progress, and also to show you how small can a larva be. The smallest you may find only measures up to 2mm, that is why you must carefully search through the substrate to avoid injuring the larvae. After sorting all the larvae and eggs, take a 1 liter jar and fill it with flake soil, and make sure the substrate is compact by pressing it. Now put the larvae inside. Each jar can contain 3 larvae of the same size. This is why sorting is important, because choosing 3 similar sized larvae to put in each jar will make it easier for you to monitor the larva growth progress in each jar, because every species have different larva stage duration. Also remember to keep the substrate humid by spraying water in it. So that's all for this video, if you find it useful, please comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.